Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, today we are opening this pack from Germany. And um, this is actually, this is a nice old school magic meal day because this whole pack is full of affordable old school cards. Yes, they do exist. You can actually buy lots and lots of affordable old school cards, especially of course reprints. And you know, you can build decks with them. And we actually have two bricks here. So we've quite a lot to go through today. And um, you know, I'm kind of into building budget decks. So I thought, you know, let's get some new cards. And I initially just wanted to buy uh, a few Cyclones from the Arabian Night expansion. Um, and actually uh, I wanted to get Chronicles editions. And yeah, it kind of got out of hand and I ordered a lot of small stuff. So curious to see if it all made it in one piece. Let's open this up first. And let's get rid of this token. There we go. So we see a Cobalt. This is a really nice one because it is a signed Cobalt by Anson Medic. So this one is signed and there we can already see. Let me just put it here. Here we can already see some commons. We see Healing Soft because I discovered that I just don't have a revised playset. This is all just revised. So it's a lot of little stuff today. We've got Circle of Protection Green. And we've got a couple of white wards, we've got a couple of red wards. And this is just kind of completing play sets from my revised collection. We've got some green wards, we've got a blue ward, we've got some black wards, and this is a pretty cool card. We've got a smoke, and uh, this is a funny card. And uh, actually one of my uh, my magic friends kind of showed me a deck list. He made a deck himself where he put Mesa Viv and Smoke together. And I, th I think that's a really nice combination. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's give it a try. So here's a Smoke. And we've got a couple of rocket launchers. Just lots and lots of small stuff. Life Lace. Life Lace works really well with the Circle of Protection Green can make something green with life lace and then I can protect myself from it. So that's pretty nice. And we've got some kutsus. So I've got a plan here with kutsus. There are multiple, I believe. Yeah, there are three kutsus. Um, I want to combine this in a deck with enchantment alteration. I think that's just going to be um, fantastic. And then we've got flying carpet. I just basically got this because it was cheaper because of the art. I really like the art of this card. So we've got a flying carpet, we've got El Hajash. El Hajash is kind of interesting, right? Because it's, it's, it's a card with lifelink. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's cool, I like the name. I want, to, I, I want to brew something with this, don't know what yet. And we've got, I believe, two reconstructions. Oh, more even, okay. We've got three reconstructions, so planning to use these as well. Maybe nice to know if you don't know it yet. Um, this is actually from the Antiquities expansion, but as you can see, there's no um, set symbol on the reconstructions. So that's a pretty, pretty nice thing. So we've got some reconstructions, we've got some artifact wards. So. And we've got a detonate. So detonate I actually want to play in my um, in my goblins deck sideboard because you know it's just more damage for the opponent. And I believe I've got two of those exactly. Two detonates and clockwork avian, pretty sweet. So just a lot of small stuff. Like all these cards are just very very affordable. I believe all this, all this stuff is, is, is all this stuff together is not more than, than 50 euros for all these cards. And here we have a Siren's Call. Cool ride by Anson Maddox. Really nice one. And I recently saw Old School MTG who had a, um, 
a combo with Siren Skull and Festival, and I thought that was just hilarious. So I picked them up. And these are all unlimited, by the way, and we've also got an unlimited Phantasmal Forces. And we've got two Orkish Artilleries, also unlimited ones. And, you know, this one is not in the best condition, but that's fine. It was priced accordingly. I don't really mind. And I think I think these cards again. I'm thinking about playing them in my in my goblin deck just because it's more direct damage, you know. And that that's basically what you want to do. Okay, so this was the first break, I guess. So there was a lot of really really beautiful revised cards, like revised cards in excellent condition to kind of complete my revised play sets. I'm really crazy about revised, and I always try to pick up some revised cards when I can. And let's go to the second break here. Look at that, so many cards. Let's open it up. It's all small stuff, but it's cool because I can make decks with them. I can make uh, all sorts of combinations with them. Yeah, and here we see a Zahn that sight. So of course this is a crumble, but then a German one. And uh, yeah, look at that, three of those. I, I love making reprint decks and then I really enjoy just putting foreign cards in there. So, and they're incredibly cheap. Um, and then we've got Dance of Many. Again, it's one of those cards. Uh, it's just good for brewing. And here we see the Cyclones that I talked about before. And uh, I recently had a, um, a budget brew challenge on my Patreon where I asked my patrons to come up with a budget deck under the $200. And one of those decks uh, was built around Cyclone. So that's actually one of the reasons this whole mill day started. So I thought, okay, let's just pick up a few Chronicle Cyclones. Like they're like 10 cents each. Um, and this seller just had so many cheap cards that I kept thinking, oh, I can use this card and I can use it for that. And I can complete this uh, play set if we just have one more of this. and. Before you know it, this whole, you know, mill day happened. And I think these are over 80 cards. And a Fulnis, I think that's also German. And we have another Life Lace. I also saw, uh, didn't I also see Revised Life Laces before? Okay, this, this card's actually quite interesting. This is, card is called Removing Shamans. This is the Italian version. The cool thing is you pay one white and then it brings back all the enchantments uh, to your hand actually. So it's, it's quite a strong card. And I saw it in one of the deck lists and I thought, oh, it's interesting. Let me just play it. I, I believe it was in the list of a Magic Wombat uh, deck. And that makes sense of course, because the Magic Wombat, you will fill it up with enchantments. And then when your opponent is going to try to uh, remove those, ooh, ooh, see a problem here. When the opponent is going to try to remove those, um, you know, you can save it using your removing shamans. Okay, three of these. This is actually completing a foreign play set. I know that sounds odd, but I've got one of these Italian and now I've got four of those. So I'm really happy with that. So let me put it, let me put the foreign cards over here. And yeah, here we see Kobolds of Kirkkeep, again, Italian version, and we see some more Kobolds. These are Kobolds of the Crookshank. And this is all just all just small stuff, but it completes play sets, and that means that I can start like kind of trying to build Kobold decks, which is a lot of fun. So three of these. And what else do we have? Ooh. Even more Kobolds. Let's have a look. Four of these, and I already have Cobalt Taskmaster as well. So look at that, that's a pretty cool Cobalt collection. All Cobalts, and it's all small stuff, don't expect any like big cards in here. Labricon, obviously this goes together with the whole Life Lace and the COP Green and everything. 
really nice. I really like the Italian coloring. It's very bright. I think they're very nice reprints. Let me know, what do you think about foreign cards? Would you, would you buy foreign cards yourself? Do you think it's just a waste of money? And this of course is a relic barrier, but then Italian, this is like, um, I don't know, 50 cents. It's like really, really cheap, maybe even cheaper. And it's a very useful card. I mean, it's two to cast and you can just tap target in Shaman. It's really, really nice. It's very useful. I mean, old school, everybody plays with enchantments. Ah, and here we see more of the Kobold army. Very nice, very nice. I can start brewing Kobolds. Ezra Drake. Again, it's just a reprint, but it's really nice if you're uh, playing against a city in a bottle, you could board out your Surrender Befrits and you could play Azure Drake. Or maybe if you play with city in a bottle yourself, you could choose to play with this over Azure Drake. Ghost Ship is also a really nice alternative, by the way. Unfortunately, look at this. One of the cards got damaged. Aye, 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 aye. So we'll try to... We'll put this under a book, I guess, but I don't think it'll really recover. So one of the Azure Drakes is, is, is damaged. Luckily, they're not very expensive cards, but still, it's a it's it's a shame though because it's it's a beautiful card, and we'll we'll contact the seller. We'll see what we can arrange. Um, Azur Drake. Okay, so this was it actually, a big big mail day, and um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. And this just to this whole stack of old school magic cards was really uh, not more expensive than. Um, Uh, then 50 euros so this whole stack of cards look at this whole stack of cards was not more than 50 euros so old school doesn't have to be expensive these are all reprints and i'm all going to do something with these cards so looking forward to start brewing thank you for watching another episode of timmy talks the channel where we open up old school magic and um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, you can join uh, Patreon. There's probably a link popping up right now. You can click on it. Uh, you can check out the channel. And um, if, if you want to, you can support us. Uh, you can support me financially and, uh, and help me grow the channel. Talking about Patreon, uh, let's go to the end scroll. Let's check out the patrons of Timmy Talks. Ik het dus vind het dus somber gezien.